Hello, it's Valerie. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna draw a horse. It's super fun. I'm looking for all you horsey girls out there to join me and her horsey boys, horsey men. But I know there's a lot of horse girls. Okay, so the thing to keep in mind is that this is not a picture of a real horse. This is a drawing of a horse, okay? So, um, you know, they all look a little bit different, we, but, but there's just the basic parts. So, oh, what is the part of the horse that makes it look like a horse? For sure, no matter what you do. The tail? Mm, kind of, but the no. The mane. The mane, the mane. The mane's the big thing, okay? So when, and we won't put that on until we are, you know, pretty much sort of the ho horse out, and when you put the mane on, everything's gonna fall into place, okay? Because it could look a lot like a dog. I'll try to help you from having that happen. Um, it could look like, I don't know, other four-legged mammals, but um, that's the big thing is the mane. So as long as you're in pretty good shape before you put the mane on, you're gonna be golden then, okay? Um, are we ready to go? Everybody ready? Did I give you some time to yep, find your stuff and, and tune in? Okay. Melba's ready. Hey, Mom. <laughs> Way to go. She got her colored pencils today, yes. so we're going to see something awesome. Okay. So I'm going to do one in color, and I'm going to do one in black and white. Uh, I'm going to kind of use the basic colors in this picture today, but I have um, a more colorful unicorn version that I think we'll do in the coming future. Okay, Exciting. rather than today. But if you want to go unicorn, obviously all it takes is a horn on the top of the head. And there you go, you got a unicorn. Okay? All right. We're going to start right here with the line for the back. Okay? If anything, on your horse, you want longer legs rather than short legs. Okay? What's that called? There's probably a name for short legged horses, but. Ponies? <laughs> A pony or a, I don't know, like a pygmy horse? A horse? I don't know. So when you put this line for the back, I mean, I don't want you to, I don't want you to put it up here. You're not going to have room for a head. I mean, I guess unless it's tipped down. But don't have it down here. If you put it down here and you look after we do the first line, you'll just use that as the belly and you'll put the other one on top. If you were here, I'd be able to help you with that, but you're just going to have to use your best judgment. Okay. We're going to start with, so I'm going to find about the middle of my paper from top to bottom, and I'm going to go up just a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. And I'm going to make myself a line right here. You make yours as light as you can. I have to make it a little darker so that you can see it. But if you use a nice light color, say you want to make it brown, use a light brown or yellow. And say you want to make it black, use gray. If you want to make it pink, use light pink, okay, to start out. And then we'll once you get it sorted out and everything's there, then we'll kind of give them a little more shape with a darker color. Okay, the next line we're going to do is his belly, okay? So I don't want to drop down to here. That's a pretty fat horse, okay? But this is too skinny a horse. So somewhere, draw the line, you know, give yourself a little spot. And if that looks pretty good to you, what I want you to do is I want you to stretch this line out longer than the first one that you did. Okay? I'll do that down here. I'm finding the middle. I'm going up a little bit and making a little line, a short line. Then I'm going to drop down to make one a longer one. Okay. We're going to do the back side of them first. Okay? I want you to think about this round piece here. Don't connect it. Okay? If you can. All right? And so what happens is this little part of his back, it divots in a little bit. But if I have you make it in a smile, a lot of people make too big of a smile. So we want to start with a straight line, but you're going to curve that up just a little bit on either side. Now take the, this part and round it out around, big, beyond this one. Big booty. For his booty. Okay? Now this is that, um, I always think of it as sort of an ice cream cone shape. You have this big circle, and then you have this kind of triangle. That would be the kind of ice cream cone I like. That's like a <laughs> ton of ice cream and a little tiny cone. <laughs> Except that I probably spill it on myself. But, 
Other than that, that's how I like it. Okay. We're going to take this part from his belly and see how this line kind of goes right. It goes out and down a little bit. So you're going to come from here and you're going to go kind of down like this. The other one goes from here and goes kind of out. So this is sort of the ice cream cone part. All right? Mm -hmm. So it's narrowing up here. It's very narrow in the, in the lower leg. I'm not going to draw his hooves because I'm going to cover it with grass. If you want to draw them, draw them, but I'm not going to worry about that because it's a, it's a little complicated and if you get it wrong, it doesn't look great. So the, the other part of his leg still t is going out. It's going in this direction a little bit. So you're just having a skinnier piece that kind of comes down. I mean, obviously it could go continue straight like this. So however way you do it is fine. Okay, but in this case, it goes kind of like this, and then it kind of comes down like that, skinny little ankle. All right, this part, if you feel like this is about the right width, it has a little piece that crosses over his belly right here, which in a, which in a, in a sense is connecting to this big circle here. Okay, you don't have to draw the big circle, but if you do, that's it's fine too, because it is a little bit different plane than what the belly part is. Okay. The next thing I'm going to have you do is I want you to look at the distance from here to where his front leg is. Okay. And, and, and check and see if you're about right with the distance you think this, this is right here. But I'm going to have you do, we're going to do the neck first before we do that leg. I was thinking it was the other way. but Okay. And sh so you're, check your little divot here. It's not a long distance. Um... It, when in doubt, make the distance, you know, from butt to shoulder a little bit on the shorter side than on the too long side. It looks like kind of long dachshund. and swayed back. and Yeah. 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 Like when you cross a horse with a dachshund, that's what you're going to... You just... It's... I have one horse that... Um, like those special, like, Arabian horses. They're really quite short from here to here but they're very tall long necked and long legs and they're boxier so think when in doubt a little narrower here okay um if you think this width is pretty much on track then what you're going to do this is the same this is the same distance is about how long his neck is okay so if i measure this and i put it up here then i know that that's about how far i want to go with my neck so this, the tilt of this is a little bit forward. I mean, obviously he could have his head this way. He could lean it all the way down or he could bend it back. It doesn't, I mean, there's all the different ways you can make his neck. But to follow kind of this one that's running, we're going a little bit forward. So you're going to make a line that goes like this, comes forward a little bit. So you just draw it on there and then check and say, eh. and when in doubt, this is the part, make a longer neck. Longer neck, longer legs, and um, mane beautiful long flowing mane okay horse that's horse right there that's all you need to know don't make a short neck or it will look like a dog with a mane with a short mane okay we've got that you're gonna have don't do both ears just yet but do one and they're pointy like this okay now if you look at this one the front of his forehead is just a straight line um don't get too big of a head you can always make it a little bit bigger if you need to, but you don't want it to look like it's, you know, he can bar barely hold up his big fat head. So, okay. So you're going to go out in this sort of this direction. And um, for now, he does have a little bit of shape to his muzzle. And if, you've, if you're good at it, go ahead and do it. If not, if you're not sure about it, make it just a little straight line like this. Sure. And then when you go back towards his neck, just make it come get, a, it can stay like a rectangle. You can get a little bit wider, but it's a lot like a box. We'll round it out afterwards. Okay. Now hit the, the front of his neck, like don't get his throat too skinny, but this line right here is pretty much straight up and down. Oh, I'm going to draw it down here. Okay. So, and that is a roll around there. Okay. So I'm going to bring a line that comes right straight down like this. Okay, so I'm going to go through it again with the black in case you, um, and if you're, if you're sorting this out, you can look, you know, erase it or whatever, um, but I'm going to go here. I'm going to bring this up a little bit. I'm going to round his butt out. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, then I'm going to make that kind of ice cream cone shape. All right, 
and then I'm going to bring his leg this way. Okay. I'm going to check the size of his belly um, and see if this is right on track. Then I'm going to go up. I'm going to give him a little ear and I'm going to come out kind of like a little box. And then I'm going to drop his, this line down. I can't tell if it's even, but okay. We'll, we'll adjust things a little bit um, as you go along, okay? There's a little bit of chest between the front leg and the other, the front leg that's on the other side. So don't do this line just yet. We're going to come here, and this, line, this leg is coming at about this kind of an angle. Obviously, it can go in this angle. It could go this way. It could go anywhere. But we want it to be running, so we want it to lean forward. But I noticed that to fit this one in, don't put it out too far or you'll have to overlap, which is kind of a drag. Okay? So I'm aiming, in my case, kind of for the corner. So I'm going to have a line that crosses over the belly one a little bit. It's a little bit wider at the shoulder. And then it's going to get nice and skinny at the end here. All right? And I'm, like I said, I'm not going to worry too much about the... I was going to say the paw, but it's a hoof, okay? Now I'm going to, I need to imagine that the belly is going to come out here. It's going to connect with his chest, okay? Because that's what has to happen. All right. Let's do this other leg right here. In this one, which, which I think will work for me, um... I don't know. Maybe not. I think what I'm going to do is have it come... You just don't want it too low where it doesn't make sense. So I think I'm going to have it wherever this, this leg hits the chest. I'm going to bring a line that comes straight out. And this, the knee or whatever this is, lines up with almost the front of his face. So don't make it too short. If you make it really long, he'll have... He'd be walking like this probably, but... Um, so I'm going to make that from here, and then I'm going to come a little bit up. Okay? And those are that's going out about as far as his face. His snout. What do you call it? I probably don't call it a snout, do I? Oh, muzzle. No, muzzle. Good job. Okay, and this is these are two pieces that are about the same length. You know, and ultimately, we're looking for it to be the same length as this, if you need to kind of imagine. Okay? And then in this one, he does have that hoof, so it's going to bend back and have a hoof on there, but I guess down like that. All right, let's get this other leg in here. Oh, so let me do it down here. Oops. How are we doing? Good? Good. good. So far? Yeah. This is pretty much it, right? Yeah, I get, gotta get that mane, though. Gotta get that mane on there. It's the best part. Yep. Save the, the best for last. All right, and then I'm connecting here. I'm going to make sure that the chest and the belly would connect. Mm -hmm. And then um, I'm going to come out with this one a little bit, go out on the top, bring this down. Um, he's got this crazy stuff that goes on. There. Okay. Good? Yeah. All right. Now we're going to do the other leg on the other side. All right? And this is important that that ultimately this line right here overlap is something that cover you know you can see this line against that leg because that's how you get it on the other side of the body all right so this blue space between the two legs is called the negative space so i want you to think a little bit about that weird shape it's almost like a hershey's kiss right um and remember that this joint is a you know is going to be pretty close. This one's a little bit above it, but they're going to be very close to each other. So if the joints aren't anywhere near each other, then you're probably a little off. All right, I'm going to do the inside part first. So I'm going to bring that towards the back leg a little bit, and then I'm going to bring it forward. Okay? Then I'm going to go to where I, where, you know, I have to imagine that this side has a, that great big hip as well. So I'm going to be probably like right around here. Think about that um, Hershey's Kiss shape. Bring that in there. This one would look a little longer than the one on the other side. That's probably good enough. I mean, you could just draw a straight line down too. That's, you know, 
if that's the kind of if that's where where you're at, the only thing I would ask is that you do give the horse four legs. <laughs> that's helpful. <laughs> because it's really sad if a horse only has three legs. I think they might not be long for this world. Okay, I'm now going to take a little bit darker one. If you are, this feels like good to you and you want to start coloring in your horse, go ahead. But I'm going to, if you want to look at it a little bit and recheck your proportions before you color stuff in, that's what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to reiterate the places that, and maybe give it a little shape if I need to. So I have a nice curve here on his back. Um, you know, this butt makes shit makes sense to me. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right. I have a little overlap, not a lot, but a little bit of overlap of this hip joint, this flank or whatever over the belly. Okay. I'm going to keep this part thin, maybe darken that up a little bit. This is good enough for me. I don't know. Not great, but, and I'm going to go ahead and color this leg because this is, you know, you're seeing even in the sunny day, this is, you know, down and it's also on the inside of his body. So it's not going to get a lot of light. So that helps to make the two legs a little different as if you make the ones that are on the other side a little bit darker, if that makes sense. Especially that one. Okay. Um, if he's a little, he's, he could be, or she could be a little chubby. Um, it depends on how big of a curve you have here. If you have a big droop, um, say you made it like like this well just even it just flatten it out and then just color it in a little bit okay and, and it might be a little bigger in the chest than in the like a little lower on the left side than on the right side um but not not, not a big deal give him a little shading right there maybe a little on the back of this leg a little darker i'm going with the uh, ankles I don't think they call that either. All right, and now this is important. I want to look at the neck, make sure that it's wide enough here, okay? Um, he does have, well, I'll do the neck first. So, so I want, you know, I'm gonna bring that a little bit on the outside here, I'm gonna connect that to here. Make sure that this leg crosses that line. Um, this is okay too, just check it in. All right. Um, so on the face, he does. They always. A lot of times, they sh this jaw, this curve right here, shows quite a bit. And just like, a, you know, a, a, a most animals, there's a connection somewhat from this jaw to the ear. So it should, it should be somewhere out here where the um, ear is going to be. Okay. And it's a little bit wider, so if you drop that down a little bit, or a little bigger, so if you drop it down a little bit, then the front of the snout will be a little smaller. Um, and this is a little more, uh, oh, not triangle, but there's a little more shape to it. Don't, don't make a line for his mouth that goes from here all the way back to here like, like the toucan's beak, because it, it will make it look less sophisticated. Okay, it's just a very little tiny bit of a mouth, or just skip it all together. And then maybe a little bit of nostril here. The eye, um, a lot of time, you know, you have to think a little bit about where that's gonna be. It's kind of close to the top of his face, back this way. I find maybe a little line like this, and then just a little piece that kind of comes down. So it's a little more like a triangle. All right, so, catch up with that if you've if you're happy with how it's looking then this would probably be the time to fill fill them in a little bit i'll do the rest of that in a second i'll do down here okay so i don't know if that's all right or not i can't really see it okay mm -hmm. How's it looking, Dad? Okay. Looking good. So, um, here in Maine, it's been pouring rain all, all night long, but we're happy because at least it's not snowing. Because mm. I didn't have to plow today. I would have had to go up my little red truck and plow up that snow and dig up all the mud 
It always reminds me of um, Rock, uh, not Rocky Road. What's it called? Cookies and Cream. When all the black dirt gets all mixed in with a fresh snow. That's a nice way to think about it. <laughs> it looks like that for a little while, and then it doesn't. Um, if you miss, if you've missed any of the drawings, I think I think I'm up to about 16. If you've missed any of the classes, you can catch them on my Facebook page. Um, try to find the videos. Um, there's a little place to click on videos, and you'll see them all. Or you can go to um, free drawing classes with Valerie Wallace Fine Arts and um, on YouTube, and you they're all there, and there's a playlist, and that's groovy because then I can see who how many people have watched them and stuff. Groovy. It is groovy. Are we ready? Yeah. We're ready for the good the the we're ready for the sexy part. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, the hell is one in. Wow. I mean, really? Yeah. You laugh, but isn't it, though? It is, indeed. Okay, so pick what you want for colors for the mane, and um, this guy is running, and his ma mane is blowing in the wind, and it's a very easy way to show a little bit of um, motion just by having that, that mane um, flow backwards. The thing you want to do is that you want, first of all, this one had the mane kind of go back through the ears. So if you do just sort of a little loop like this on his forehead and draw that to the ear and then come out on the other side, it will look like, well, right now it looks funny, but in a minute it will look cool. All right. And then you're going to go from the ear all the way down to his back. Don't, don't go just halfway, right? And then a um, nice line here, and then you're going to brush, uh, draw out. If you draw out and let go of your pencil or your charcoal, it'll have that, what does it look like, hair look, okay? And they're the same length all the way up, so that's why it's going to be pretty much like a rectangle, all right? And if you look at it and something seems a little funny, my experience tells me that perhaps that they're a little short, or maybe they don't go all the way to the back. All right, so try that. Look at that. I'll do that down here. So I get that loop on this forehead. If you want it, make it crazy long like a Disney horse, like Spirit, right? Isn't that the one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's Halsey's, Halsey's favorite horse. Okay. Tail. The key is this, or the one little hint is this. Do not make the tail come out of the middle here because it will not look like a tail. It will look like something else. So make sure you're right because because your tail, you know, like our tailbone is a connection of the spine. So it's whatever this line is right here. You connect that. You continue that. If I bring out sort of two close together, that's sort of the tail there. And then what I'm going to have is have it go out and in sort of like a flame or whatever. And that will have that. It will look like it's blowing and it's thick and... You can bring that right off the page. Looks like he ran from one side out to the other side. Okay. Um, I hate to make these things too dark, but I'm gonna put a little something on there. All right. Good. So continue the, the spine, give him a little small bit like this and then go out and down and out like that. And then you have that. And if you would care to um, make a donation, you can go to ValerieWallaceFineArts.com. That's my website, where you can also see other stuff that I do, and my own some of my own work. And you go to the ticket page, and there's you can't miss it. And you can donate as little as a dollar, which is which is great. I'm uh, happy for happy for that. People are being very generous to me. And that makes me um, happy and very thankful. But, you know, it's not about the money. Okay. 
I'll oh, vote. Gotta eat. <laughs> and buy toilet paper. Okay, this looks pretty good for a horse, right? Um, <laughs> the thing I want to do um, with the grass, um, probably let's do a little, if you're doing some sky, this is the time to do that. I would just make as big a clouds as possible. So very little having to color in. I'm going to, I want to avoid having to color blue around his mane. So what I'm going to do is bring my cloud kind of like right towards his, his neck like this. And then I'm going to come out on the back and I'm going to make it a super big cloud like that. And then maybe I'll bite off a piece over here and maybe around his tail. Okay. So that means I only have to color in this little part. Um, you know, do it any way you want to. I was playing around with doing it with like light pinks and, um, dark pinks and stuff like that. But the problem was, is the light pink was so close to the color of my horse, really. I mean, I know it doesn't, you wouldn't think it was, but they were so similar that it didn't really show up good. So one thing about the light blue is that it's light blue is the opposite is the light, uh, light um, blue is the opposite of orange. So that when you put them next to each other, they sort of bring out the best in each other. So it's a great chance to um, use that color. Ugh, something's not working with my blue. The, 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 and the reason why I was hesitant to put this blue on here is because it's sort of overpowering, even though it's light, sort of wants to overpower my horse and that's sometimes the you know a hard hard thing about painting is is getting usually it's getting things as light as you can pot in that you really need them to be so what I'm gonna do is put this on here and then I'm gonna take my white which do you have it oh well, it's not really oh okay. It's not really the one I wanted, but that's all right. Okay, so I'm going to take the white, and when I put this on here, not only will it kind of soften the little lines on my coloring in that I didn't do so great in, but it will also just lighten it a little bit, so you won't have the competition of the texture of the coloring, and um, maybe just a little lighter, depending on what kind of white you have, but. A white, a white pastel, a white crayon, um, white colored pencil is a great thing to employ to um, tone something down a little bit. All right, maybe go. If I go over my clouds and I pick up a little of that blue, then I also can make them a little bluish. But I want to stay away from that mane and that tail. Okay. On this one, what I would do before, um, I guess I would put the clouds in, and then the trick it. The thing is, is that I don't want the clouds outlined so dark, probably. But if I put a little here, I smudge this a little bit. Even if I go right over my horse, I can always come back and, you know, maybe even make this guy a little bit darker. Remember with the charcoal, that the charcoal or a pencil, have an eraser around because you may color something in and then be like, oh, that's too dark. And there's, you just use an eraser. Eraser isn't just because you didn't spell the word right. You can erase for lots, all kinds of reasons when you're drawing to. Um, you might think about that little bit of a, depending on how big your main thing is, you might need another little tiny piece of ear that shows on the other side. Um, yeah, so I'll take this. Definitely lighten this a little bit back here. Definitely is a pretty good pose of a horse. 
um, that you could practice and practice those steps and then you can sort of vary the direction you put some of the lines so that he'll be have a different pose probably do like I said either we'll probably do the unicorn but you could always make that unicorn into a but I kind of wanted to do the fun colors with like all the colors in the mane and stuff like that um, so underneath is to make this go with the windy day I want my grass to go in this direction and I want to go the darkest right down underneath his body where the feet are okay so I'm going to use this dark blue and then um, I'm going to use a greenish gr green out here I'm not that's not dark blue dark teal I'm gonna use a little of this but if I if I blow my strokes in this direction that helps you know make it look like it's windy okay mm -hmm. got that Daphne mm -hmm. and I had another green too like you know why not right yeah okay and then on my um, drawing I'll do sort of the same thing, but I do, I do want a little more, you know, I definitely want it to, like I said, to be darker right underneath, okay? Okay. And then, <laughs> then maybe I'm going to do this. Don't be afraid to draw over something because that... Um, not only can conceal something that you weren't crazy about how it came out, you know, why suffer? If you like the other parts, just figure something out. Um, but it also gives depth. It makes things seem like they're living in a world together instead of just, you know, here's a horse and here's some ground underneath it. Um, I think that's it. Is that good? Did I get everything? I didn't forget this one. We're good? I think it looks good. All right. Thank you so much. I have the next three classes all ready to go. I'm going to post those. Um, yeah, and if you have a suggestion, throw it my way. Thank you so much. Enjoy your rest of your day.